Igor Ivanovich Sikorsky Russian, Igor Ivanovich Sikorsky IPA, Irvanvit S. Korsk J. Listen, T.R. Igor Ivanovich Sikorsky, May 25, 1889 to October 26, 1972, was a Russian-American aviation pioneer in both helicopters and fixed-wing aircraft. His first success came with the S-2, the second aircraft of his design and construction. His fifth airplane, the S-5, won him national recognition as well as FAI license number 64. His S-6A received the highest award at the 1912 Moscow Aviation Exhibition, and in the fall of that year the aircraft won for its young designer, builder and pilot first prize in the military competition at St. Petersburg. After immigrating to the United States in 1919, Sikorsky founded the Sikorsky Aircraft Corporation in 1923, and developed the first of Pan American Airways Ocean conquering flying boats in the 1930s. In 1939, Sikorsky designed and flew the Vought Sikorsky VS-300, the first viable American helicopter, which pioneered the rotor configuration used by most helicopters today. Sikorsky modified the design into the Sikorsky R-4, which became the world's first mass-produced helicopter in 1942. <laughs> Early life Igor Sikorsky was born in Kiev, Russian Empire in present-day Ukraine, the youngest of five children. His father, Ivan Alexievich Sikorsky, was a professor of psychology of Kiev St. Vladimir University, a psychiatrist with an international reputation, and an ardent Russian nationalist. Igor Sikorsky was an Orthodox Christian. When questioned regarding his roots, he would answer, My family is of Russian origin. My grandfather and other ancestors from the time of Peter the Great were Russian Orthodox priests." Sikorsky's mother, Maria Stefanovna Sikorskaya Cherkasova, was a physician who did not work professionally. She is sometimes called Zenaida Sikorsky. While homeschooling young Igor, she gave him a great love for art, especially in the life and work of Leonardo da Vinci, and the stories of Jules Verne. In 1900, at age 11, he accompanied his father to Germany and through conversations with his father, became interested in natural sciences. After returning home, Sikorsky began to experiment with model flying machines, and by age 12, he had made a small rubber band powered helicopter. Sikorsky began studying at the St. Petersburg Maritime Cadet Corps, in 1903, at the age of 14. In 1906, he determined that his future lay in engineering, so he resigned from the academy, despite his satisfactory standing, and left the Russian Empire to study in Paris. He returned to the Russian Empire in 1907, enrolling at the Mechanical College of the Kiev Polytechnic Institute. After the academic year, Sikorsky again accompanied his father to Germany in the summer of 1908, where he learned of the accomplishments of the Wright brothers Flyer and Ferdinand von Zeppelin's dirigible. Sikorsky later said about this event, Within 24 hours, I decided to change my life's work. I would study aviation. By the start of World War I in 1914, Sikorsky's airplane research and production business in Kiev was flourishing, and his factory made bombers during the war. After the Bolshevik Revolution began in 1917, Igor Sikorsky fled his homeland, because the new government threatened to shoot him. He moved to France where he was offered a contract for the design of a new, more powerful Maramets type plane. But in November 1918 the war ended and the French government stopped subsidizing military orders. He arrived in the U.S. a few months later in 1919. <laughs> <laughs> Aircraft designer With financial backing from his sister Olga, Sikorsky returned to Paris, the center of the aviation world at the time, in 1909. Sikorsky met with aviation pioneers, to ask them questions about aircraft and flying. In May 1909, he returned to Russia and began designing his first helicopter, which he began testing in July 1909. Despite his progress in solving technical problems of control, Sikorsky realized that the aircraft would never fly. He finally disassembled the aircraft in October 1909, after he determined that he could learn nothing more from the design. I had learned enough to recognize that with the existing state of the art, engines, materials, and, most of all, the shortage of money and lack of experience, I would not be able to produce a successful helicopter at that time. 
Sikorsky's first aircraft of his own design, the S-1 used a 15-horsepower Anzani three-cylinder fan engine in a pusher configuration, that could not lift the aircraft. His second design called the S-2 was powered by a 25-horsepower Anzani engine in a tractor configuration and first flew on June 3, 1910 at a height of a few feet. On June 30 after some modifications, Sikorsky reached an altitude of 60 or 80 feet before the S-2 stalled and was completely destroyed when it crashed in a ravine. Later, Sikorsky built the two-seat S-5, his first design not based on other European aircraft. Flying this original aircraft, Sikorsky earned his pilot license, Fédération Aéronautique Internationale FAI, license number 64 issued by the Imperial Aero Club of Russia in 1911. During a demonstration of the S-5, the engine quit and Sikorsky was forced to make a crash landing to avoid a wall. It was discovered that a mosquito in the gasoline had been drawn into the carburetor, starving the engine of fuel. The close call convinced Sikorsky of the need for an aircraft that could continue flying if it lost an engine. His next aircraft, the S-6 held three passengers and was selected as the winner of the Moscow Aircraft Exhibition held by the Russian Army in February 1912. In early 1912, Igor Sikorsky became chief engineer of the aircraft division for the Russian Baltic Railroad Car Works Rusko Baltiski Vagani Zavid or RBVZ in St. Petersburg. His work at RBVZ included the construction of the first four-engine aircraft, the S-21 Rusky Vityaz, which he initially called Le Grand when fitted with just two engines, then as the Bolshoi Baltiski the Great Baltic when fitted with four engines for the first time, each wing panel's pair of powerplants in a push-pull tandem configuration previous to the four-tractor-engined Rusky Vityaz. He also served as the test pilot for its first flight on May 13, 1913. In recognition for his accomplishment, he was awarded an honorary degree in engineering from St. Petersburg Polytechnical Institute in 1914. Sikorsky took the experience from building the Rusky Vityaz to develop the S-22 Ilya Muromets airliner. Due to outbreak of World War I, he redesigned it as the world's first four-engine bomber, for which he was decorated with the Order of St. Vladimir. After World War I, Igor Sikorsky briefly became an engineer for the French forces in Russia, during the Russian Civil War. Seeing little opportunity for himself as an aircraft designer in war-torn Europe, and particularly Russia, ravaged by the October Revolution and Civil War, he immigrated to the United States, arriving in New York on March 30, 1919. Topic. List of aircraft designed by Sikorsky H-1 Sikorsky's first helicopter design, 1909 H-2 Sikorsky's second helicopter design, 1910 S-1 single-engine pusher biplane, Sikorsky's first fixed-wing design, 1910 S-2 single-engine tractor biplane developed from the S-1, 1910 S3 enlarged and improved version of the S2, 1910 S4 one-seat, single-engine biplane concept developed from the S3, never flown, 1911 S5 one-seat, single-engine biplane, Sikorsky's first practical aircraft, 1911 S6 three-seat, single-engine biplane, 1912 S7 two-seat, single-engine monoplane, 1912 S8 two-seat single-engine biplane trainer, 1912 S9 Krugly three-seat, single-engine monoplane, 1913 S10 five-seat, single-engine biplane reconnaissance, trainer developed from the S6, 1913 S11 Palukrugly two-seat, single-engine mid-wing reconnaissance monoplane prototype, 1913 S-12 one-seat, single-engine trainer, Sikorsky's most successful aircraft in Russia, 1913 S-13 and S-14 proposed designs, never completed due to unavailability of engines S-15 single-engine light bomber floatplane, 1913 S-16 two-seat, single-engine escort fighter, 1914-1915 S-17 two-seat, single-engine reconnaissance biplane based on the S-10, 1915 S-18 two-seat, twin-engine pusher biplane fighter, interceptor S-22 seat biplane fighter, 1916 
S-21 Rusky Vityaz four-engine biplane airliner, first successful four-engine aircraft, 1913 S-22 S-27 Ilya Maramets four-engine biplane airliner and heavy bomber, 1913 S-28 proposed four-engine biplane bomber, cancelled due to the end of World War I, 1918 S-29A twin-engine biplane airliner, Sikorsky's first American design, 1924 S-38 twin-engined eight-seat flying boat, 1928 S-42 clipper, flying boat, 1934 S-43 scaled-down version of S-42, 1934 VS-300 Experimental Prototype Helicopter, 1939 VS-44 Flying Boat, 1942 R-4 World's First Production Helicopter, 1942 Life in the United States In the U.S., Sikorsky first worked as a school teacher and a lecturer, while looking for an opportunity to work in the aviation industry. In 1932, he joined the faculty of the University of Rhode Island to form an aeronautical engineering program and remained with the university until 1948. He also lectured at the University of Bridgeport. In 1923, Sikorsky formed the Sikorsky Manufacturing Company in Roosevelt, New York. He was helped by several former Russian military officers. Among Sikorsky's chief supporters was composer Sergei Rachmaninoff, who introduced himself by writing a check for $5,000 approximately $61,000 in 2007. Although his prototype was damaged in its first test flight, Sikorsky persuaded his reluctant backers to invest another $2,500. With the additional funds, he produced the S-29, one of the first twin-engine aircraft in America, with a capacity for 14 passengers and a speed of 115 miles per hour. The performance of the S-29, slow compared to military aircraft of 1918, proved to be a make-or-break moment for Sikorsky's funding. In 1928, Sikorsky became a naturalized citizen of the United States. The Sikorsky Manufacturing Company moved to Stratford, Connecticut in 1929. It became a part of the United Aircraft and Transport Corporation now United Technologies Corporation in July of that year. The company manufactured flying boats, such as the S-42 Clipper, used by Pan Am for transatlantic flights. Meanwhile, Sikorsky also continued his earlier work on vertical flight while living in Nichols, Connecticut. On February 14, 1929, he filed an application to patent a direct lift amphibian aircraft which used compressed air to power a direct lift propeller and two smaller propellers for thrust. On June 27, 1931, Sikorsky filed for a patent for another direct lift aircraft and was awarded patent number 1,994,488 on March 19, 1935. His design plans eventually culminated in the first tethered flight of the Vought Sikorsky VS-300 on September 14, 1939, with the first free flight occurring eight months later on May 24, 1940. Sikorsky's success with the VS-300 led to the R-4, which became the world's first mass-produced helicopter, in 1942. Sikorsky's final VS-300 rotor configuration, comprising a single main rotor and a single anti-torque tail rotor, has proven to be one of the most popular helicopter configurations, being used in most helicopters produced today. Igor Sikorsky was also on the board of directors for the Tolstoy Foundation Center in Valley Cottage, New York. Topic family Sikorsky was married to Olga Fyodorovna Simkovich in the Russian Empire. They were divorced and Olga remained in Russia with their daughter, Tanya, as Sikorsky departed after the October Revolution. In 1923, Sikorsky's sisters immigrated to the U.S., bringing six-year-old Tanya with them. Sikorsky married Elizabeth Semyon in 1924, in New York. Sikorsky and Elizabeth had four sons, Sergei, Nikolai, Igor Jr. and George. Tanya Sikorsky von York March 1, 1918 to September 22, 2008, Sikorsky's eldest child and only daughter. Tanya was born in Kiev, Ukraine. Educated in the United States, she earned a B.A. at Barnard College and a doctorate at Yale University. She was one of the original faculty members of Sacred Heart University in Bridgeport, Connecticut, where she served as professor of sociology for 20 years. 
Sergei Sikorsky 1925, Sikorsky's eldest son. He joined United Technologies in 1951, and retired in 1992, as Vice President of Special Projects at Sikorsky Aircraft. Igor Sikorsky Jr. is an attorney, businessman and aviation historian. Igor Sikorsky III is also a pilot. Topic death and legacy Sikorsky died at his home in Easton, Connecticut, on October 26, 1972, and is buried in St. John the Baptist Russian Orthodox Cemetery located on Nichols Avenue in Stratford. In 1966, Sikorsky was inducted into the International Air and Space Hall of Fame. Sikorsky's and Andrei Tupolev's professional careers were covered in the 1979 Soviet biopic The Poem of Wings, Russian, Poema o Kryla, where Sikorsky was portrayed by Yuri Yakovlev. A working model of Sikorsky Ilya Muromets was recreated for filming, the Sikorsky Memorial Bridge, which carries the Merritt Parkway across the Housatonic River next to the Sikorsky corporate headquarters, is named for him. Sikorsky has been designated a Connecticut aviation pioneer by the Connecticut State Legislature. The Sikorsky Aircraft Corporation in Stratford, Connecticut, continues to the present day as one of the world's leading helicopter manufacturers, and a nearby small airport has been named Sikorsky Memorial Airport. Sikorsky was inducted into the National Inventors Hall of Fame and the Junior Achievement U.S. Business Hall of Fame in 1987. In October 2011, one of the streets in Kiev was renamed after Sikorsky. The decision was made by the city council at the request of the U.S. Embassy in Ukraine, which opened its new office on that street. The Sikorsky's family house in the city's historical center is preserved to this day but is in a neglected condition pending restoration. In November 2012, one of the Russian supersonic heavy strategic bomber Tu-160, based at the Engels II Air Force Base, was named for Igor Sikorsky, which caused controversy among air base crew members. One of the officers said that Igor Sikorsky does not deserve it because he laid the foundations of the U.S., rather than Russian aviation. However, the Long Range Aviation Command officer said that Igor Sikorsky is not responsible for the activities of his military aircraft, noted that Sikorsky had also designed the first heavy bomber for Russia. In 2013, Flying Magazine ranked Sikorsky No. 12 on its list of the 51 heroes of aviation. On March 22, 2018, the Kiev City Council officially renamed Kiev Airport International Airport, Kiev Zulyany, named after Igor Sikorsky. Philosophical and religious views Sikorsky was a deeply religious Russian Orthodox Christian and authored two religious and philosophical books The Message of the Lord's Prayer and The Invisible Encounter. Summarizing his beliefs, in the latter he wrote, Our concerns sink into insignificance when compared with the eternal value of human personality, a potential child of God which is destined to triumph over life, pain, and death. No one can take this sublime meaning of life away from us, and this is the one thing that matters. Topic. Published works Sikorsky, Igor Ivan. The Message of the Lord's Prayer. New York, C. Scribner's Sons, 1942. OCLC 2928920 Sikorsky, Igor Ivan. The Invisible Encounter. New York, C. Scribner's Sons, 1947. OCLC 1,446,225 Sikorsky, Igor Ivan. The Story of the Winged S, Late Developments and Recent Photographs of the Helicopter, an Autobiography. New York, Dodd, Mead, 1967. OCLC 1,396,277 Sikorsky, Igor Ivan. Arasani – Sikorsky built some of these propeller-powered snowmobiles in 1909-10 Fedor Ivanovich Bylinkin, an early aircraft collaborator with Sikorsky, in 1910 Sikorsky Prize – a prize for human-powered helicopters named in his honor 10,090 Sikorsky – an asteroid named in honor of Igor Sikorsky References Topic Notes Topic Citations Topic Bibliography 
Topic: External links. Official Sikorsky Historical Archives. Igor Sikorsky on IMDb. Igor Sikorsky Aerial Russia: The Romance of the Giant Aeroplane. Early Days of Igor Sikorsky Online Book. Igor Sikorsky article on ctheritage.org. Igor Sikorsky. Time Magazine, November 16, 1953. Cover. The New England Air Museum in Windsor Locks, Connecticut, has extensive Sikorsky exhibits. Wingless helicopter flies straight up September 1940 popular mechanics article showing Sikorsky flying his first helicopter and introducing him to the general public. U.S. Patent 1,848,389. Aircraft, especially aircraft of the direct lift amphibian type and means of construction and operating the same. U.S. Patent 1,994,488. U.S. Patent 2,318,259. U.S. Patent 2,318,260.